Hello, dragon artists. Last week, you chose your favorite photographs from Mr. Scott's exploration of the beautiful Jeju Island. And this week's Draw Jeju series will use those photographs to create our beautiful artwork. Today we'll begin with our paper in a portrait or a vertical position and we are going to start with the beautiful arch of the rainbow. Now I'm drawing in pencil but I, or I'm drawing in marker but I encourage you to draw in pencil. Now I am just drawing this rainbow here to help me understand where the rainbow is going to be. This is going to be the main focus of our portrait and that's all I'm going to draw for the rainbow. The rest of it is going to be done in, with colors a little bit later. So here we are now building the rocks down at the bottom and I'm going to add a pattern onto the rocks but feel free to add a different texture or maybe you want to add a zentangle on here. You're also free to change the picture as much as you'd like to make it your own and you can also incorporate some of the different things that we have drawn in our earlier Draw Jeju series. So if you wanted to add dolphins or flowers, feel free to do that. You're also able to add maybe some of your family or friends as you're going through this picture. So now I'm going to add the base of my waterfall. So this is just right next to the waterfall as we are going through and I'm going to add some of the same textures and patterns that I did before. Now I'm going to begin with the top area and I'm going to start to build the right side of the cliff but I'm going to add some vegetation. You'll notice that there are plants and trees growing on the top of the waterfalls and that's one of the things that makes the cliffs on Jeju so beautiful. I'm going to add some extra detail with the colors a little bit later but I am going to add a beautiful banana tree right here at the top. Um, I don't believe that's what's in the photograph, but I had so much fun drawing these palm trees and banana trees lately that I'm just adding that in. Now that I have the top of the cliff drawn, I'm going to begin with the waterfall. And I'm going to think of my waterfall as melting ice cream. Or think about your waterfall as a popsicle that's melting. So you're drawing the melting part of the water coming down. And I did the waterfall, designed it like this, just to add on to the beautiful rainbow that we have below. Uh, and doing this instead of just drawing the waves rushing down, but feel free to change that as much as you'd like, and you can add any design that you'd like. I'm also going to leave a little bit of space, just as you see in the photograph, to add some rocks in. Now I'm gonna be drawing behind the rainbow, just like I would um, if the rainbow was not there. And again, that rainbow is gonna be built using the color, so we're still gonna add all of the details of the picture in the back. So once we have that rainbow arch, we're gonna just draw the landscape as we normally would, but then we're gonna add that color in a little bit later.
Now that I have finished the base of the waterfall, I'm going to begin drawing the bottom part of the cliffs in the water. Again, feel free to change this as much as you'd like. Use the details that you want to. Maybe you even want to add some animals or birds or bugs into your picture. You can also draw yourself or your family as you're here. Um, I'm going to add some color using the Daiso crayons, uh, but I encourage you to change this picture and make it your own. I'm excited to see what you're going to create. Uh, feel, feel free to email me or message me if you have any questions.